Makes sense. You know, and that's, you know, I think the educational point and, you know, a lot of families, and I get it all the time, a lot of families just don't know where to go at the process. And, and a lot of times, you know, they don't even know where to get started, right? So they don't even know how to get a coach's attention. Um, so if there's a player that you didn't see or you didn't already have on your, on your board um, that you were going to go out and watch, how would a family catch your attention? How would a player catch your attention? When? At, I think win. I think you got to help your team win at a high level. You know, I get I get asked that question all the time. Um, there are various guys, um, guys that I've coached. You know, Wesley Johnson, we coached. He was 84 in the state, you know, uh, when he played for the Dallas Mustangs when I was coaching the AU. I mean, he was one of the guys on the end of the bench and ended up being the fourth pick in the draft. You know what I'm saying? Um, he got better. You know, you hear, you know, kids now, you know, it's, it's a marathon. It's a marathon. We keep talking about this marathon, especially now that the, the death of Nipsey. You know, everybody's talking about this. But it is, you know, kids develop in stages. Um, but I think that, you know, I think so many kids and parents are so caught up in trying to um, get as many offers as they can. But in, in actuality, you just need one. You need one coaching staff that believes in you, one coaching staff that really values you, uh, one coaching staff that think you can come in and be an impact on that program, and then you're going to have an opportunity to make an impact for a lifetime. You know, I, I think ultimately you're only going to be able to go to one school. <laughs> so, I mean, you just need the right opportunity. Right. Um, I look at recruiting a lot like marriage, um, and so – um, it is a marriage, it's a commitment, you know, for a lifetime. I tell kids that I've been a part of recruiting, we're going to be hooked at the hip forever. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and so it's, it's uh, no perfect situation, um, but it's about going where you're celebrated and not tolerated, Amen. you know, so. And to piggyback on that, you know, how important to you is finding the right fit, you know, on, on, on both sides, right? So the right fit for you, but also the right fit for that student athlete, you know, it being – you know, whether it be, hey, this is a kid that's always been a rural environment. So, you know, a school that fits, you know, what his comfort zone is or, you know, the major that they're looking to study. How important is it for you, you know, on both sides for it to be the right fit? Again, I talked about marriage and you know, I've been fortunate enough to be with my wife for seven years. We've been together 17, but it's just the right combination. And so I think that, you know, it's the kid, the prospect, and his family um, and his circle's uh, job to do their due diligence to make sure that um, he's finding the right fit. But then it's also the coaching staff and the different universities, their, their obligation to make sure that that kid fits that university and that culture um, that that, that uh, program has. Um, I think it's so important for the kid, which is the most important, to be successful in the long term, um, I think is everything. Yeah, I think is everything. Yeah, I think that's one thing. I mean, when I talk about the recruiting process and I talk to families, the biggest thing I say is you, you got to find the right fit, right? It doesn't matter. Um, it's not about the name on the front of the jersey. It's not about, you know, how many wins that team had in the last 10 years or how many championships they won. If it's not the right fit, you know, it doesn't make a difference. Um, and, and, you know, I tell my student athletes it's more so about the name on the degree, uh, not necessarily, you know, the name on the front of the jersey. So I'm a little bit biased. You know, I tell all, all my guys, look at the best situation for life after basketball because eventually at some point, you know, the air is coming out the ball. Uh, and, and they don't want to hear that. <laughs> you know, they want to they wanna play at the highest level. And, they, and I get it. You know, I completely understand that. Uh, so it's great to hear the, the importance from you from the coaching standpoint because I think that a lot of times, you know, they hear it from me and they're like, oh, you know, he's telling me what he thinks he knows, right? Or he's telling me what his experience is of it. So to hear it from somebody that, you know, is in that, that position, right, that's important. That's important for them. Um, you know, and I, and I kind of want to end that. Um, what would you say, you know, in your career so far? And obviously, you're, you're far from done doing. You know, you, you've built a, a phenomenal career at this point up so far. And um, I'm excited to see how you continue to grow and continue to, to flourish. But what has been that one moment that, that you would say kind of was the, um, the, the most impactful moment for you in, in your career so far as a coach? 
Oh, man. Um, probably there was a kid, Darius Gardner, um, that I was a part of recruiting at Stephen F. Austin. And uh, he went to Yates High School. Um, they had just won a national championship. Uh, they were 39-0, and 0, something crazy. They were really good. And he was salutatorian at his high school, I believe. He was the first one in his family that's going to have an opportunity to get his degree. And I made a promise to him, because I was the first one in my family to get my degree. I made a promise to him that um, when he got his degree, I would be there. Now, I didn't know that I would be leaving Stephen F. Austin and going to the University of Houston. Um, and so when he finished his career, he actually transferred from Stephen F. Austin to American. And it was one of the best days of my life. You know, I was out of the business like I am now. And I surprised him. I didn't tell his parents. I, t I didn't tell him. I told his parents I was coming. And uh, went to D.C. and, and uh, got a chance to see him walk across the stage. And his academic advisor was there. She said that she had worked, you know, at American for X amount of years, and she had never really come to a bunch of graduations. But she, it, he was such a success story that she thought it was important that she needed to be there uh, to see him. So that was a pretty cool day. It was probably probably the most impactful day um, off the court. Obviously, you know, my first trip uh, to the NCAA tournament at Stephen F. Austin, being a part of that. Um, was pretty cool and and then experiencing the Sweet 16 at Texas A&M, you know, first trip to the Sweet 16 was pretty cool. That's so awesome. anytime you can see kids graduate and, you know, go to weddings and I mean, it's a <laughs> lot of, I like to go to Christians and all that stuff. So I mean, it, baptisms, um, it's been a lot of cool moments, uh, but that, that probably was the coolest. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. No, I mean, I, you know, I, I can't express the appreciation I have for you, uh, for your time today. I mean, I think it's, there's not enough forums and not enough situations in which w people are hearing the real and coaches are kind of opening up and saying, hey, this is what I'm looking for. These are the things that can make me look away. Um, I think that it's vitally important for you know, our student athletes to understand that, you know, the importance of them being a student athlete and, and keeping the student part in front of the athlete. I think it's important for, you know, people to hear and know that, you know, you're in a race to get these offers, but at the end of the day, like you said, you only need one, right? So, you know, it doesn't, doesn't mean much to have 100 offers or, or you know, only have one offer. And, and I think a lot of times guys get discouraged because they don't have that offer. And, and you know, it's like, you know, it's just, it, it's, it doesn't matter how early that offer came or how many offers came. It's about that right school choosing you and it being the right fit for you. So, you know, I, I like I said, I, I can't thank you enough. I hope that, and my hope is, and I know it will, but my hope is that this impacts, you know, more student athletes. I look at it from a standpoint of, you know, you and I both become in contact with so many student athletes, uh, a day, a month, a year, a career. Um, and my goal is to be able to reach outside of that network of those that I actually meet physically um, and be able to virtually come into their homes or virtually come onto their phones and then be able to sit there and say, okay, well, you know, dang, Coach Yurick said that I need to be doing this or Coach Yurick said that I need to watch what I'm, what I'm doing on social media or a, a parent to look and say, Coach Yurick said that they're paying attention to how we behave too. It's not just about what our boy's doing on the court. Yeah. You know, it's, so I, I think that that's vitally important. And, and I think that, you know, you giving your time, and time is one of the most valuable assets a person could ever have. So, you know, once again, I appreciate that. Is there any, uh, any, any closing words you want to end us on? Uh, no, man, I, I, pre <laughs> I, I appreciate you having me on, man. And it's, it's been fun. So uh, I think any time that, you know, parents and prospects can be educated on the recruiting process, and I don't have it all the answers at all you know, I, I think that you know if, as as um people that care about kids as, as we keep you know exchanging ideas we all can learn and, and get better uh, you know coaches included we're, we're constantly trying to learn and we don't have it all figured out either so it's a fun process about the kids at the end of the day amen yeah amen. 